Hey guys, this is Mystical with a Cup of Death along with Blizznade once again for this week's free to play game of the week. This week we are looking at the free to play game Need for Speed World. Um, you know, as with all these games, it is completely free to play. Um, Jacob's going to go ahead and join the match here, and as he kind of goes through the match and you see the gameplay and stuff, um, we're going to kind of talk about the pros and cons of the game just as we do in all the other free to play Fridays. Um, so as you can see, he's joining the game here. He's waiting in the lobby. Tells when the event starts and everything. Uh, he's going to play a team pursuit match. Um, what that is is you have a team of players and you're out running the cops. Um, and you're basically helping each other so that you all escape from the cops. Um, think of hot pursuit with a team. I mean, it, it's really fun. You know, it has a lot of cool things in it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons of Need for Speed World. Let's go ahead and start with the pros. Uh, number one, there's a lot of players in this game. Um, it's a fairly uh, new free-to-play game, uh, so there's still tons of people playing it. You know, you can constantly get on and be matched with other people and stuff. Um, it's it's actually it's really a lot of fun if you're a racing fan, um, a racing game fan. Um, if you enjoy Need for Speed, you know, and like those type of games, this plays just like any other Need for Speed you've ever played. Um, you know, it, it, it looks like a Need for Speed game, you know, not the best graphics in the world, but I've never really seen a Need for Speed game that has the best graphics in the world. Um, but it looks and plays just like any other Need for Speed game, except for it's completely free. Um, there's tons of customization options for your car. Um, as you can see, Jacob's car here, he got the purple tinted windows, the black hood, got no some homo. rims on it. Um, no homo, apparently. <laughs> I thought the purple tinted rooms looked hot. I'm just saying. I'm not gay. Okay, so moving on. One of the other great things about the game is it has built-in voice chat. Um, we love seeing this feature in games um, because then you don't have to use mumble or team speak or something like that. Um, and it works really well. Um, there is occasional times where we would join each other and we couldn't hear each other. I um, mean, we'd have to leave the chat and then rejoin and then we could hear each other. Um, so that did happen occasionally, but overall the voice chat works flawlessly. Doesn't seem like there's much lag in it. Um, it's definitely really, really nice. Um, another great thing about the game is uh, they have a lot of features in it that keep you coming back to play it every day. Um, the first being that the game, you know, it takes a while to level up your car and stuff. You don't just do a couple matches and boom, you have everything unlocked. You actually have to build up some money, build up some points and stuff like that to get the cars and stuff unlocked. Um, another great thing that they have are daily challenges. Um, for example, uh, you, there's you know hidden gems that you have to find every day, and when you find them, you get special customization options and stuff for your car. Um, you know, so that's cool too. And and each day that you come down and complete the daily challenges, if you do it so many consecutive days in a row, you get better gear for your car. Um, so that's a really cool feature too. Um, the other nice thing about the game, um, which is uh, that this game is, it does have pay to win. You know, we, we don't typically like games that have pay to win, meaning that you could buy, you know, cars and stuff that are gonna outperform everything else or gear that's gonna outperform everything else. In this game, you are able to do that. However, what they've done to eliminate the issues for those that pay to, pay to play and those that don't is you have separate classes for your car. You have class D, class C, class B, class A, etc. Um, and depending on your car and the speed and stuff like that, um, and the performance of it, it actually, you know, you could be placed in a different bracket. And so that's one of the pros of the game is that even if you start off with a, let's say, a class D car and you, you know, spend a bunch of money on it to, to performance the heck out of it, um, you might get bumped up to class C. So then instead of racing with a bunch of class Ds, and murdering them, you get bumped into the C class. So it keeps it fairly equal in terms of matches, you know, it's it's more based, it's not who has the best car, but who's the better driver, who has the most skill, which I think is definitely a pro. Um, it, like I said, it feels like Need for Speed. Um, and another, you know, the last pro I want to talk about, or the last major pro, you know, there's tons of pros, of course, to any game and tons of cons, but the ones that stick out the most is it also has a really neat feature that I've never seen on any other uh, free-to-play game. I'm not saying that's not out there, just saying I've never noticed it. Um, but it has a download size um, selection, and what I mean by that is you can actually decide um, when the game, you know, free-to-play games, they update like crazy. Um, and so 
you know, it seems like every week when you log on, you're having to download big updates. Well, if you're, if you're not concerned with having the absolute best graphics and the maximum renders and everything, you can actually deselect that in the options. Um, or vice versa, if you want all the, the very best graphics and very best be, best renders and everything, you can select that in the options, and that will change your download size. Um, so if you're doing the best graphics and stuff, you're going to have a bigger download size, and if you're not, and you're just going with like the standard, you're going to have a lower um, you know download size, which I think is another great feature, and I'd love to see that in other uh, free-to-play games, um, you know, something like that. So the cons of the game okay there is some major issues mostly when it comes to playing with friends and playing with um, like parties and stuff and, and joining matches together and stuff and that is um, number number one um, when you start a match like Jacob's playing this match here um, when you start a match for some reason sometimes um, you know there's no way like to just join a friend playing a match you gotta like both join the game you know go to the same location join and keep backing in and out until you end up in the same lobby. Um, now, there might be some type of way of doing it, but we weren't able to figure it out. You know, we've played it quite a bit, and it just seems like you've got to just get lucky and get in the queue together, which, you know, even if you're in a group, you, it seems like you have to do that, which is kind of weird. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's one of the small cons. Another is that you can't always see everyone around you. Um, so even though there might be a ton of players around you, or even your friends, for example, that you're in a party with, you don't always actually see them when you're driving in the actual world. Now, when you're in a race like this, you see them no problem. But when you're driving in a world, sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. Um, and, and it also leads to the next part, is in the world, um, you can't bump into other players and stuff. So you can't ram into them, hit them, you don't have to worry about crashing into them. Which is kind of a nice feature, but the problem that it tends to create is when you're driving, um, and all of a sudden, somebody on the map that wasn't there appears because the game loads them up or whatever for whatever reason. Uh, you tend to freak out and think you're going to hit this car and you swerve out of the way and you end up crashing. Uh, so that was definitely kind of a, you know, downside or whatever. Um, so there you have it, Need for Speed World. It's a great game if you like racing games. You know, it feels like Need for Speed. It feels just like the paid Need for Speeds. It's fun. It has some really great game types in it, like this Team Escape, where you only have, you know, the whole team only has three strikes, you know, which means that everybody that's on your team, a maximum, you guys can only get busted three times or you lose. Um, as you can see, they're down to zero strikes left, so the next person that gets you know, destroyed, you know, busted, they lose. But as you can see, Blizzney just dominated and completed it. Um, you know, so that was definitely good on his part. Um, but it has tons of options like this, has tons of different, you know, everything from circuit races to drag races to team escapes to pursuit cases, you know, all the different stuff. Um, so, you know, it has all the, the, the favorites of all the different Need for Speed games thrown into one. You know, it's it's a nice big world, so you can run around. You get rewards after every race if you place and stuff. As you can see, he just won power ups, um, emergency evade, um, which means if cops are starting to surround him, and he can hit that, and it'll help him evade from the police officers. Um, you know, so it has a lot of great features and stuff like that. So if you like racing games, if you're a fan of Need for Speed, definitely check out this free to play game. I definitely think you'll enjoy it. Uh, also, make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it. And also, please do us a favor and subscribe. That way, every Friday when we release a new free-to-play game, uh, you'll be the first to know. All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the game. Later.